Hello, welcome back to my channel. I do apologize for not filming for the past few days because there's been some holidays going on. Um, there was Mother's Day and then the day after Mother's Day, it was my birthday, so um, I didn't film. Um, to all the mothers out there, happy late Mother's Day. To all the fathers out there that have to play the mother and father role, happy Mother's Day to you too. And then to all the Tauruses out there, happy birthday. To all my twins out there on May 15th, happy birthday. I did not know I had so many twins out there, so happy birthday. Um, but today we're just going to do a get ready with me glam and see what look I can come up with. So give me just a moment here and we will get started. So again, I'm going to prime my lids and that is with the Milani eye primer. And I do apologize in advance, my allergies are acting up. Um, this pollen is no joke. I hope everybody is doing well. And I'm just putting this on the lid and we're gonna do like a birthday glam. So a late birthday glam. I'm probably gonna go with a little bit of blue and see what we can create. I'm just gonna take my e.l.f. concealer brush and blend that in. Okay, so we do have these e.l.f. bite size palettes. I'm just gonna go in with a couple palettes here. So we have this e.l.f. one, and this one is called the Cream Sugar Palette. And then I have the Akai Yu. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's Akai Yu uh, palette. I like these little palettes. They're not big, they're not bulky. They're easier to work with. So I'm gonna go in with these two palettes. I may take another palette and use a transition color um, first and then go in with these two palettes and see what I can create. So I'm gonna go in with the Starlet palette by Profusion and just use a couple transition colors on this and then get started with the e.l.f. Uh, palette over here. So I'm gonna take, it looks like I'm gonna take this color here. They don't have names on them, they're on the back, but yeah. So I'm gonna take this color here and this color here and just blend them together. Profusion is a really nice uh, brand for you to purchase makeup. It's not too expensive and they have good quality in their palettes. So it's an affordable brand. I like them. I've been using them for years. So it's an affordable palette. And then let me see here. I am going to go in with this e.l.f. Bite Size. The first one that I showed you, as soon as I find me a brush. Okay. So I am going to take this chocolate brown color here and I'm just gonna apply that to the end of my, well, about half of my eyelid. Yeah. This brown is almost black. It's very pigmented. I like this color. All right. So there's that. I will blend the edges out here in a little bit. I'm just putting the colors on first and then I'll blend them out. And then there's also this other 
palette again, I'm gonna go into, and I'm probably gonna use probably this color here. So those colors look pretty good together. You do have to kind of dip into it a little bit, you know, to, for it to show, but it's a really nice color. I bet if I was to spray my brush, then it would show up a little bit more. So yeah, those are, yeah, that's a pretty color. I like the two-tone look of eyeshadow sometimes, especially for like a light glam. Um, it's really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out a little bit. Blend these edges out. See, I might amp it up a little bit. Um, I think I'm gonna put on my eyeliner and then I'm going to put some more shimmer, like the shimmer color on here. This uh, lighter blue color, this color right here. Um, add some shimmer to it here in just a moment, but I am gonna go ahead and, you know, put on eyeliner. And again, I'm just using the LA Girl Shockwave eyeliner. I'm getting low, but I have backup over here. And I do apologize for any background noise that you may hear, talking, sirens, anything like that. I do apologize for that in advance if you hear any of that. I know somebody's probably gonna say something. She's pulling on her eyes, putting on her uh, eyeliner and stuff. Hey, I do what works for me, so do what works for you. Okay, so that is on. And then we are going to go ahead and prime the skin, set the skin. Again, my allergies are acting up. I noticed as soon as I put on my eyeliner, my eye is starting to water. <clears throat> so hopefully it doesn't do that through the video, but yeah, my eye is watering already. And I'm just putting on the primer here and I'm gonna let it sit for a couple minutes and then we'll put on the foundation.
Okay, so we are going to use the Wet n Wild foundation. This one is in the shade Cocoa. So I'm gonna use this today on my skin. This is a pretty good um, foundation. It's affordable and it has good coverage. All right, and then I'm just gonna take the e.l.f. blending brush and just blend this in. So I don't know if this is gonna make me look orange on camera. It might. Sometimes the lights wash you out and sometimes it makes the foundation look a little bit darker. Just try, uh, trust the process and see what happens. But I've worn this before. It's a really good foundation. Again, the lights just may wash me out and it may look orange. Yeah, it looks like it's going to look orange on camera. To me, I don't know. So it is a dewy foundation, so you do have to blend it in a little bit more, which is why you see me go over and over and over again with this. But it's, it's a beautiful foundation. I like that Wet n Wild has good products. All right, so we're going to go into the concealer. And again, I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer, my two shades of Honey and caramel so I'm using these two shades and i just like mixing them Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and blend out this concealer. I've been using a concealer brush. This one is from Sephora. Uh, this one is the Pro Airbrush Concealer Brush that I'm using. So I've been using a brush because I've noticed the brush uh, seems to blend and better than the sponge. And it seems like the sponge sometimes makes your under eye crease a little bit. But again, do what works for you. Not everybody's skin is the same so you know but this is what I've noticed here lately so that's why I'm using a brush and I'm sure you hear the train in the background So I have a couple friends over here to blend that in. But yeah, so that is the concealer. So I'm just gonna let that sit for a moment and then I'll go ahead and put on the setting powder. Um, but yeah, we're gonna use a different setting power, powder today. Today I have the Haley's Translucent uh, Loose Setting Powder. This is a real good product as well. Blends in very nicely and it won't change your skin color either. Okay, so we're gonna apply the setting powder now. So the key is to this, when you're about to do your setting powder, again, you want to press in that concealer and then put on your uh, setting powder. So you wanna blend it in first and then immediately go into the setting powder and put that under your, you know, under your eye. So, again, Press this in and then apply it and just press that in. So you can see how smooth 
that really is after doing so. So you can tell the difference from here to here. And I'm just gonna do the same thing to the next side, blend it in. just apply. So it, it may look light going onto the skin. Again, it's translucent. It's going to look like that, um, but it really doesn't affect your skin tone if you're a darker complexion. It blends right into the skin. So I'm just going to go ahead and set the rest of my face with this powder. a little bit too much but it all blend and then we'll go in with finishing powder here in a little bit as well so but yeah so this just balanced out that color as well remember I was talking about how it looks kind of orange on camera and I feel it kind of like balanced it out here so And what I'm gonna do, I totally forgot to put that shimmer on my eyelid. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna do that real quick here. And I feel that your fingers work best. So I'm gonna go in with this color here. I'm just going to apply this to my eyelid and see what we can do with it. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. really made it pop. So I may not even have to use my finger on the next side because it is very pigmented. So I'll probably just take me like a little flat brush here and just apply it on the other eye. Okay, well maybe we will use my fingers. So fingers are key too. Should have got a bigger brush, but that's okay. So yeah, I really like this blue. This blue is really pretty, really pops. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's, it's really pretty. Again, I do apologize for the background noise. I guess it wouldn't be my type of video without having background noise. So. All right, so that is on. And then just blend this out a little bit here. Okay, so now we're gonna do bronzer, blush, and highlight, and then mascara and lips. So bronzer, I'm just gonna use again the Ace Beauty, Beauté, however they pronounce it. You know, they gotta put something on it. I'm just gonna use this bronzer here. I'm just gonna use these last three shades. So bronzer is on blush. Um, I'm gonna go in with the BH Cosmetics blush. I've used this for a while, but these blushes here, whoops, these blushes here are really pretty. So I just usually like mix these two shades here. Again, I'm not really a fan of blush, but again, it's supposed to be like a late birthday glam. So we're gonna do that, even though I'm not going nowhere. So here's that. And let's see here. We're going to do highlighter. Okay, and for highlighter, I'm going to use the Too Faced highlighter. It's a real pretty pink. I think I'm going to spray my brush on this and try it and see what happens. I'm just going to dip 
and spray. And we'll see how this turns out. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's really pretty. It's nice and pink. Pink is one of my favorite colors. So why not? Why not go with it, you know? All right. So there's the pink. Again, I don't know if you can see it. It's really pretty. So again, I'm just going to dip and spray and do that to the next side. But I'm going to have to blend it out because I see that it is really, you know, thick. And then just apply a little bit above near my brow bone. And then I'm gonna blend this out. That is a really pretty color. It's not too bright, it's you know pretty subtle, but I like it. It's pretty. So there's that. And then we are going to apply, let's see here. This is the mattifying um, setting powder. So this is your setting powder here. This is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop setting powder. And this is in the shade Caramel. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on real quick. We'll put on mascara lips and we will be done here. All right. So again, I'm just gonna take my brush, my powder brush, and just put this on. And this will mattify your makeup. So it'll have it set in all day, pretty much. It's really pretty. All right, and then we're gonna go in with mascara. Again, Essence Last Princess. Mascara, I just cannot pronounce that word for some reason. Why, I do not know. You know what I'm saying. I will leave everything in the description box down below as well. I always go in with a couple coats because I feel like it uh, makes my lashes look longer. All right, so we're about to do our lips. I'm gonna do a lipstick, but I have to put on my lip gloss first, because otherwise, if not, then I get that white ring around my lip. Nobody wants all that, so I have to put lip gloss on first. It's a must. So again, I'm just going in with the Essence Extreme Shine Lip Gloss. This is the best, hands down. It does not cake up your lips or anything like that. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with this lipstick, which is called Soulmate. And yeah, that's the name of it, it's called Soulmate. And it looks like it's from Janeira Brand. This is a real pretty color. I'm gonna put this on. See, this is the color here. It's like a dark brown. So that's the color. I really like this color. All right, guys. So this is the completed look. Let the hair down, put in some earrings, and this is the birthday glam. So I hope you enjoyed. There will be more content coming soon, and I hope each and every one of you have a good day. Stay blessed.